Hi everybody, welcome to the Daisy Editor and um, I received a couple of questions from people about how you can import files into the editor. So let's say someone shared a .dze file um, which is basically a collection of um, custom objects and you want to bring it in. You know, how do you do that? Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's relatively easy if you know where the Daisy Editor stores its files so let's jump into my desktop um, and where the daisy editor s stores its files is in your documents folder so if you click on your documents folder probably on your c drive might be on another drive d um, but you'll kind of find where your computer stores stuff for you um, and then you'll see a daisy folder and within the daisy folder you'll get see an editor folder and then, my, I mean, my, my one <laughs> is full of stuff because I use the Daisy editor. So if you look at the top of the screen now, you kind of see the kind of um, address on your local drive that it could be like C, users, your username, documents, Daisy, and editor. So it'd be, be something like that. So, I mean, if I guess if you did a search for editor, you, you'll probably find it. Now, once you know where that is, where it stores everything, then you know where to copy files uh, two. So if we take this example where um, um, I produced a training area JSON and DZE file, the .DZE files, they're the ones that you can open up. They're like, they're a Daisy Editor project file. So if I download the uh, zip of, the, of all these from uh, my GitHub repository, and they'll be in my, so show in folder, so they're in my downloads folder. So if I extract these now, There we go. And then they're in this folder here. If I go into this folder, we can see there's the DZE file, NEAF training area DZE file. And I find that the easiest way, rather than trying to point Daisy Editor at something like your downloads uh, folder, just take the file that you want to open it and then copy it into your editor's um folder i mean it's because it's one of mine it's already there so there you know so i now now know that northeast air airfield training area .dze is now in that folder so when i go back into the editor all you do is you press space bar get your cursor up go file import and import from daisy editor and then you can just look down for it so there it is neaf training area .dze if we import that, now it should load it up, and then I think it takes us to where it is. Not quite sure. Let's have a look, see where it takes us. All right, it hasn't taken us where it is, so you have to know where it is. So let's get the map up, um, and it is up here. And then press M. quite a lot of objects here so it's probably my computer's probably struggling a little bit there we go oh right okay so yeah so that <laughs> wasn't the one I was expecting but there it is um, press Y to get rid of everything so there we go so you can see I've uh, imported a .dze you can as you can see file import init.cs, expansion maps, .txt, vcoms, object spawner things, you know, there's all sorts of different files that you can you can uh, import in and then save as your own .dze file or edit and then upload um, or do do whatever you want to save them as like an object spawner for JSON. But it's all under that file import. And as I say, that the real trick is knowing exactly where Daisy Editor stores those files in your documents folder under daisy and under editor because then you can just copy files into there and it makes them a lot easier to import them rather than trying to um, use the rather limited file browser that is included within daisy editor but that's not a criticism because daisy editor is absolutely fantastic anyway that's enough from me hopefully you found that useful if you have hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon